is John the Witness on the Mind Blowers channel, bringing you hardcore Bible facts. This episode is called The Prophet Daniel Told You Your Vote Does Not Count. Take a moment from your busy day to ponder the thought that the United States is the most powerful nation in the history of mankind. Really take time to reflect on that stunning reality. If Jesus Christ said Satan is a god of this world, that means that the United States is part of Satan's kingdom, not the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And if we are in the last days, then that means that Satan has been busy conquering the nations ever since Jesus rejected his temptation 2,000 years ago, giving the keys to the kingdoms to his human children who reject Jesus Christ in favor of him. And if Satan has spent 2,000 years adding all these nations to his portfolio of kingdoms, and if the United States is his chief enforcer right now, do you really think that he would leave it up to uninformed votes of citizens who know little or nothing about how his kingdom works? Go back and look at the prophecy of Daniel chapter 2 carefully. This chapter has a timeline of Satan's beast kingdoms, which I consider to be similar to how our smartphone apps have version after version today. The first version of the beast was Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the head of gold. The second version was Persia. The third version was Greece, and so on, all the way down to the last kingdom before Jesus Christ returns and destroys this beastly statue of kingdoms. And so who is this last kingdom? Answer, it is the clay, iron, feet, toes kingdom, which is a brittle, loose coalition of the United States, the muscle, Europe, and the Security Council of the UN. In the midst of these is the little blasphemous state of Israel, which hates Jesus Christ as should be known by now. And Saudi Arabia is also a puppet of the United States and Israel. And the Vatican government, which has to be looked at separately from the overall Catholic Church, is also a puppet of the same puppet master. Even before Jesus Christ rejected the temptation of Satan, his human children have been busy since the days of the Babylonian captivity trying to overthrow these kingdoms. Thus, Mystery Babylon the Great, which is the umbrella secret society of men and women dedicated to Satan, has spent nearly 2,500 years perfecting a massive political, spiritual, economic machine to ultimately defy Jesus Christ and his father as part of Satan's last stand against the Almighty. Do you think for one minute that they will let you, a mere human not born in their special bloodlines, dictate their government strategies and tactics with your meaningless vote? Do you think they will leave 2,500 years of work all up to you to pick a president because he pretends to represent your interests or because he looks good on TV? Stop being foolish and naive. The only reason they even allow a vote is to condition you not to revolt against their satanic system. They want you to feel like your voice is heard, to feel good and patriotic, quote unquote, about participating in government. Remember, Satan is a liar and can only lie by his nature. That means his human children also lie just like him and can never tell the truth. So they are deceiving you into thinking your vote counts. Now, if you want your vote to count in another way, try not voting at all. If every Christian stopped voting, that would scare the crap out of all of them. Why? Because they would not know what you were thinking. They want you in the matrix to track your thoughts. Think on that. I'm John the Witness. Stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen.